Now here's a story you will see only on News 5. A restaurant near Fairview Hospital shuts down out of nowhere, leaving those who love the food and the community devastated. Now the people who used to eat at Cafe Falafel are rallying around the owner to get him back in business. News 5's Amanda Van Allen shows us the effort. Some rice. He makes his food with a little passion and a lot of spice. It's not a job. It's, it's, it's like Mary's. <laughs> Ehab Anaya was the proud owner of Cafe Falafel on River Edge Road near Fairview Hospital for about four years. It was a small place. And we have this little tables. Small but mighty. Hundreds of customers rushed into the restaurant each week, but not just for the Mediterranean cuisine, also for the community. It was the most, I want to call it magical place that we all used to get her. But that magic faded last year when Anaya lost his parking lot and with it, his customers. For now, he has a pop-up shop inside of Fairview Hospital's lunchroom, but it's just not the same. Closing his doors, he said, was the hardest thing he's had to do since coming to the U.S. I had a small book bag and, you know, just few stuff. I was staying for like probably a month. But during his trip here, Anaya learned that he couldn't ever go back home. The borders between Gaza, where I'm from, and Egypt, it got shut down. And that's the only way you can go in or out Gaza. So he became a U.S. citizen and started a new life. Married, had kids, and merged his two worlds with the food from his homeland. Food loyal customers like Dory Lehman says she can't live without. I love the shawarma. I love the baba ganoush. Um, I love You're just the whole menu. Yes, <laughs> I love everything. So she and a few other community members launched a Kickstarter campaign for Anaya to open a brand new restaurant. This one will be called Salam Cafe. Salam Cafe means peace. Where I come from, that area hasn't seen peace for like, what, 2,000 years, I think? Peace and a little hope. It gives me hope to, you know what, um, maybe I can put this family back together. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.